Our second student speaker was selected to represent the JD class. Garme Gorolulu is from Portland, Oregon by way of Liberia and graduated from Stanford University with a degree in human biology and a concentration in African conflict development and health. At Duke, she served as the co-chair of the Women of Color Collective and the Coalition Against Gendered Violence. She was the special projects editor for the Duke Journal of Constitutional Law and Public Policy and was on the board of the Black Law Students Association and First Generation Professionals. After graduation, Garmay will join the Portland office of Perkins Coie. Garmay. Thank you, Dean Abrams, faculty, staff, class of 2021, and all our loved ones here with us virtually and in spirit. Too often, we look at visionary leaders and believe that they are different from us. But each of us has that strength inside of us. We can manifest it in different ways with our different skills, but any attempt to improve the lived experience of another person is significant. Only a handful of you know this, but it was not a foregone conclusion that I would be graduating with you all today. I lost my dad during the first week of the fall semester after a lengthy battle with cancer, and much of my law school experience was tied to him. He lived with me for a good portion of time in Durham while he recu recuperated from treatment. He met a few of you, and he heard stories about many more of you. Even during his last days, he remained a man with a clear sense of purpose, urgency, and responsibility. His determination was inspiring, and every day I had a constant voice in my head saying, I only have so much time here. Here being at Duke Law, and here being on this earth. I only share that with you now because it proves the old adage, that you really have no idea what someone else is going through. And little did many of you know, I was leaning on you all every day without many of you fully understanding the gravity of your actions. It was inspiring to watch us all come into our own, sharing insights from class and readings with each other, devoting countless hours to legal academia through journal and research projects doing client and policy work through clinics and pro bono projects, and building community and student groups. Those were the big things. But looking at those things alone minimizes our collective humanity. By virtue of existing, just as you are, you were just what our community needed. I was also inspired by other things too, sharing notes with classmates, setting up coffee check-ins with mentees, talking about the world's big problems in an honest and respectful way, sharing about struggles to support each other, and many other seemingly effortless, thoughtful actions. It was the small actions day in and day out that maintained our community. It's so easy for us to focus on the positive final portrait and not talk about the struggles that led us to these moments of triumph. Yes, we were resilient, hardworking, intelligent, and so many other things, but we can also acknowledge that we overcame obstacles that were unique, and sometimes we overcame them silently, under the cover of darkness, and with little recognition. We were all here together in this space for a limited amount of time. So many things had to go right, even when they felt like they were going wrong, for us to be here in this unique, random assortment of people. I would not go back and change a thing. When I look back at my time at Duke Law, I can say it was worth it. You all were worth it. And I hope that you can say the same. Though we have spent the last few years pushing ourselves to be better each day, class of 2021, please never forget that each of you is more than the sum of your parts. 
The world needs you to be who you are, authentically and humbly yourself. As I've heard many others say, and as I have said many times in my three years in this community, you are enough.